So today we're going to be unboxing the all-new Acer C720 Chromebook. Now this also happens to be Acer's least expensive Chromebook and also happens to be the least expensive Chromebook currently on the market. And in order to do that, let's cut open the seal. And now we're going to pull open this tab. Okay, and the tab then pulls out. And you can open the lid and then you can open the lid up lids opened up and there is a setup guide which you can read through it should be a quick setup guide on how to set up the c720 there seems to be some guide which is for international travelers so if you're an international traveler you want to look into this Okay, and inside the box now is the device itself. Let's take that out. But before we do that, let's take the charger out. That seems to be on the side. Take this piece of cardboard out and here is the charger. Now some of the newer Chromebooks do seem to be coming with smartphone style micro USB chargers. However, this is a regular laptop style power brick. And last but not least, we have inside the box the actual Chromebook itself. Take the packaging off. And there you go. Let's take the device out of its cover. And there it is, the Acer C720. Now in this video, we're not gonna cover a lot of the details of the Acer C720. Stay tuned for our full review to see how this device performs and what it can do. What we're going to do now is open it up and boot up the device. So like any other laptop on the market, it flips open. And as you can see, there's this little cover. I'm going to take it off. It's also important to mention that the quick start guide suggests that you plug it in directly to external power before you boot it up the first time. And we've done that. And now we're going to go ahead and boot the device up by pressing down the power button. And there you go. The Chrome logo appears. And there's a setup screen and we're going to set it up. So it's asking for three pieces of information. It's asking you for the language, which in our case is English and it's selected. It's also asking you what sort of keyboard you want to use. And lastly, it's asking you if you'd like to connect to a Wi-Fi network in this case. So let's go ahead and connect to a network. Connect to my network here and enter the password. And it's now connected. That was fairly easy. Hit continue. And then it asks you if you'd like to accept their terms. And I'm going to opt out of sending them any statistics. And hit accept and continue. Then it says Chrome updates automatically so you always have the freshest version. When this download completes, Chrome will restart and you'll be on your way. So we're going to let it do that. Okay, so it's almost finished downloading the update. It's taken a total of about five to seven minutes, and that really depends on your connection speed and the kind of update that it's downloading. Okay, so it's almost done updating, and it says it's finalizing, and the entire process has taken about seven minutes. So the first thing it does after it reboots is it asks you to sign in with your Google account, and we'll go ahead and do that. And there you go, the Chromebook has now booted up and is ready for use. Now we'll be covering how the device performs and what it does and what it can't do in our full review, so stay tuned for that. If this video has been useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.